Hashtag Thailand Diaries. Hashtag Travel Blogs. Hashtag Thai Massage. Mm. I'm sure you guys would have figured out what I'm going to talk about today. A very good evening to one and all present here. I'm going to share my experience of the involuntary torture I received from this person called Homie Chiri. Don't judge me on the pronunciations because I'm very bad at Thai pronunciations. So her, her brown eyes examined me completely. Wrinkles forming on her brown chestnut, chestnut face as she completely assessed me before my massage. You lady, you require two hours. No, I'm good with one, I said. She then looked at my plump belly to say, oh yeah, you require one and a half. No, I'm good with one. Kop Kun Ma Ka. I replied, thanking her in Thai for the offer. She shrugged and motioned me to lay on the table. I had previously gone through the laminated menu for various massages available. And I had chosen Swedish, which is all about relaxation. I've heard many people say and that they remain sore for days after their massages. But my chink and armor, my curiosity gave in and I went for this. I did not want to get tortured. I don't think anybody wants to. I was into the belief that I would be pampered and not pummeled. I was ready for the massage. I lay down on the table. The lady began. She began with her elbow trying to drift into my calf muscles. I waited. I waited. I wanted to see where this could go. Too long apparently before I could actually open my mouth. I felt the unmistakable pressure and pain of her forearms just trying to put a lot of pressure on my legs. For a second I was astonished. What is happening? Why is she doing this? I was in pain. I was in pain. I thought I should scream. But no, I am very tenacious, so I kept quiet. She then asked me, are you fine? I say, I'm okay. Go ahead. Let's see what you have for me. I refuse to win. We had now entered the battle mode. She was all set to prove the tricks she had for me. And I was all ready to see what she has for me. When I drove her to the spa to get stuff, I had actually fantasized the scent of massaging oil commingled with probably the aroma of rose petals. And I also dreamt that I would be soothed, my taut muscles would be soothed by expert hands. I also thought I would fall asleep because I'm really relaxed. But believe me guys, I had a vicious grandmother <laughs> who actually advertised massage therapy, but what she did was torture. She was probably trained in the elite school of torture. All that she gave me was torture, pain and nothing else. So once my back was done, I was asked to flip over. At this moment, I thought, I won, I won, I wanted to scream. I, I wanted to scream so badly. But her sarcastic smile told me that she had a lot more left. <laughs> now, she starts to run her fingers through my ribs with the intention of breaking them. She then asks me, are you okay? No pain? I'm like, no. Absolutely no pain. The moment I said this, guess what she did to me? She used me as a doormat. <laughs> she started walking all over me. Mm. And for a second I was like, I should scream? No, I shouldn't. I could feel she was up my spine. And I started doing all the deep breathing exercises I've learned till date. <sighs> it's still hurting. <sighs> what do I do now? It's still hurting. She continued. She continued endlessly till I actually asked her, Woman, stop it. I cannot do this. 
she was then like, okay, the last part. She caught hold of my belly. I started kneading it as if it's a dumpling dough. I was like, wait, what are you doing? She's like, this is the last bit of the massage. I'm like, happy, the last bit of the massage, but please carefully. She was all like, okay. And she started kneading it, kneading it for about 15 minutes, believe me when I say this, 15 minutes. After all of that, after her attempt to dislocate my hips, after her attempt to break my limbs, she, my relaxation massage was done. She now asked me to get up and shake my limbs before I could walk. It was actually a good advice because believe me, I couldn't move. So I did all that she said later. That night, I slept and I was actually wondering what I, what I had done to myself. Generally, I prefer massages to leave me very happy. But this one actually left me rethinking about my decisions that I made today. <laughs> would, would I go back again? I am not sure. Have you guys experienced Thai massages? If not, after this, will you give this a shot? Over to the Toastmaster of the day.